Chris with HobbyKing.com with another great product I want to talk to you about today. This is actually a product we've been working on for a while and it's actually called Rotor Bits. Now Rotor Bits is a modular construction system and we're going to have it across all boards whether it be for cars, robotics, multi-rotors. We're going to get into that in just a second. Right now I'm going to talk to you about the, uh, the Rotor Bits uh, as far as the multi-rotor frames that we're introducing to you today. Right now I'm holding the, uh, the Rotor Bits quad. Now the cool thing about Rotor Bits is each part I was talking about was individually uh, modulized. So it's designed to all work together. I've got the hex over here. And you can see really the parts in between these two are interchangeable uh, between the two. They're going to be available in different colors uh, and they're all based off of 10 millimeters. The, uh, the tubes are 10 millimeters squared. Whole spacing is based off of 10 millimeters. Now as far as the uh, motor mounts, Rotor Bits has got quite a few uh, mounts available. Universal mounts, we've got some motors for uh, mounts for the uh, specific motors that we have related to this as well as other mounts that have mounts on both sides so you can create like a Y6 type of uh, uh, multi-rotor. Um, if we go to the try and take a look at the try, one of the uh, the unique bits that we're calling them on the uh, the tricopter is the actual gear drive uh, servo. If you can get in on that, uh, Herman, um, setup. So it actually has direct drive servo um, gear one to one for the uh, the tilt rotor system on this. Uber clean. The, the servo just zip ties to the bottom. It's held in securely uh, to a pre molded slot, so there's no slop in it. And with the gear drive, it's it's uh, just makes a, a complex system extremely easy on this. And the whole quads basically we have it zip tied together. So when these go in, you just zip tie the legs up in there. You zip tie the little uh, rounded uh, moon feet I call them uh, onto the bottom, and uh, you can basically have one of these quads in the, in the air in just a matter of minutes. These kits go together extremely easy with this uh, type of uh, design. Now all the rotor bit center plates have built in 45 millimeter square. Uh, mounting posts and this will fit most flight controllers such as our KK 2.1. Now another neat feature on these frames is that there's a lot of options with the bits that you can add on to these things. Let me grab a couple of these options. Like I was saying it's a modular construction system and this is going to be geared not just for multi-rotor but it's going to be geared towards robotics and other features. So we can replace these carbon arms on these frames with uh, pre-drilled and tapped at uh, 10 millimeter spacing and this allows you to um, bolt other uh, accessories to this. Within this range and I've got a few items down here I'll just pick up a few. We've got uh, uh, FR4 which is a composite uh, material uh, that you can essentially bolt onto it. Uh, we got different braces, we got different sizes and this allows you to take these and bolt them on at different angles and change and, and uh, basically construct anything you want based off of this platform. We're going to have these tubes in uh, natural which is just undrilled and tapped and we'll have tapped versions as well. We're going to have it in various lengths. Like I said, we've got tons of the FR4 that's going to allow you to bolt pretty much anything to anything at any angle. We've also got a ton of different molded bits, uh, like I was saying before, that are coming up on the new items page. And they're also under the related categories under spare parts. Uh, different mounts like I was uh, mentioning like the Y mounts where it's top and bottom center plates. We're going to have various colors available so you can customize. But the coolest thing about this uh, rotor bits type of system is that it's never going to be outdated. You know, if you want to design or build something else, get a different center plate. Uh, order up different length arms so you can change them out. You can even build a bi-quad using two of these tilt rotors off of the tri-assembly uh, using a, a center T-plate. Uh, there's pretty much unlimited combinations of how this stuff can go together and how it can be utilized. Anyway, Matt in the U.S. is going to be doing a lot of build videos based on the uh, rotor bits and he's also going to do uh, some uh, for the robotics on that side of things and some of the other uh, uses that it can be used for even in the uh, uh, aircraft such as, you know, uh, uh, retractable uh, trusses for your landing gear or anything else that you can think of. This is a fantastic product. There's a lot being added on the new items page. Because there's so much of it, uh, it might not actually hit the new items page, so definitely check the related items. And we've created a new category under multi-rotors called Rotor Bits, and check under the bits parts themselves. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you next time.